right, so now the next one up on deck is David Bowie, Time. And I'm pretty sure this one is from Patreon, suggested by Chris. I don't think Chris is watching. Um, but again, this is why we're gonna, I'm going to upload it later for people. Anyway, so David Bowie, Time, live from 19, 1973. Wow. When was David Bowie born? I don't even remember. But 1973 was a long, that was, that, that's been a minute. 1973. Goodness gracious. Okay. So put up. All right, here we go. Turn it up. I don't mind what he has on, but in the 70s, I think David Bowie was maybe a little bit ahead of his time. Like, as far as style and personality and embracing what he enjoyed, you know, with outfits and such. I'm going to stop talking because it's going to be taken out of context. Time is waiting in the wings. It speaks of senseless things. His script is you and me. Boy, time. Flexes like a whore, falls wanking to the floor. Time reflexes like a whore? script is you and me, boy. Time and and red wine. And all the really dolls and other friends of mine. Take your time. The sniper in the brain. I know it's probably a terrible place. I was waiting for a chorus, you know, wait for first first chorus, and then I try to pause. I don't know what's chorus and what's not chorus. What I've heard from David Bowie is so unique. Like, I don't think, I could be wrong because my memory sucks sometimes, but I don't think I've ever heard anything quite like this song. And I may never hear anything quite like this song after. I can understand what he's saying for the most part, which is awesome. <laughs> awesome, because he's British, if I'm not mistaken. And I have a hard time understanding British people sometimes. Or maybe it's because I've been listening to a lot of British people. Um, and he has such a sharp delivery. The way he sings and speaks is just... Um, doubtless. That's not the right word. But there's something matter-of-fact about the way he delivers that I really like. It gives a little bit more emphasis and maybe passion to what he's singing. If that makes sense. Yeah. You are not a victim. You just scream with boredom. You are not a victim. Time. He's so dramatic. Getting 
first started, I thought Rocky Horror Picture Show, I think I saw that a long time ago, it reminded me of it. The boa. Yeah. Because I think he was or they were with that music. That music just made me feel like. I don't know. The music was happy yet relaxing yet. I don't know. I don't know. I'll come up with words later because I can't think of any words right now. But I really like the way he delivers and it's just he gets your attention at least me he gets my attention and the song was it's like the song was kind of calming but he seized my ears like you will listen and something else I already forgot um and somebody Chase said that he could have played the man in Rocky Horror Picture so I saw that movie like 15 or 16 years ago. I don't remember much about it, but something about a boa, which is what that thing's called, right? The big feather thing. Anyway, what a time it must have been to live in the 70s. I've heard great things about the 70s, late 60s and 70s, you know. Um, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> 